Hey everybody, finally back at the board. We got the new board up. Um, so Wednesday's workout. This is something that there is no time stations really, except for the last one. The kind of the idea is you're just gonna get through all this stuff and then you're gonna finish up here for this 12 minute period. So however long it takes you to get through this. Now, some of you guys may need to modify this one, all right? If you don't go out and run or you don't have space or you need to stay inside and do your workout, uh, the modification for the 100 yard run, starting for the 100 yard one run would be some type of sprinting, rowing, um, you know, either sprinting on a skier or a rower or a bike or even jump ropes. You could do this like 100 jump rope repetitions then go down by 10 each round. Kind of like make it work with your scenario. So how it works is this. You start with a 100 yard run. Now, if I was going to do this, if I was in my backyard or if I was say on a track or a field, what I would do is I would make a distance where I would go out and then come back. So I would run out 50 yards, come back 50 yards because I want to have my kettlebell with me waiting. So as soon as I come back from my 100 yard run, say I go 50 out, 50 back, I'm gonna do 10 goblet squats and 10 kettlebell swings. Immediately put the kettlebell down, sprint back out. Now I'm gonna do 90 yards total. We're gonna decrease each round by 10 yards. So I'll go 90 yards, come right back to where I started, do 10 goblet squats, 10 swings, 80 yards, eight goblet squats, eight swings. Treat it as fast as you can, all right? This is not one where you wanna to try to, you can get through it pretty quickly, but you wanna to try to get, um, you wanna to try to be, work as consistently as you can. Now, I finished that. Whatever rest you need, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna work this station first, followed by this station. So this is 50 mountain climbers, immediately followed by 40 lungers, immediately followed by 30 thrusters, five right, five left, alternating that way. Throw you the, throw you the thruster, put all those T's together. Um, we're just gonna say five, 10, 15, 20, like that, all right? So my thrusters, squat, come up with squat, press it as I come up, then right back down to the squat. So five reps on the right side, five on the left, until you get to, repeat that until you get to 30 total reps. 20 deadlift, here to here, and finish with 10 burpees. Now over here, we're gonna start with 50 total, two toe touches, so back and forth is not one, it's total. So remember, arms out straight, boop, one, Two, make sure you come all the way up, keeping your arms wide. Uh, 40 step ups, if you wanna do box jumps, you can. Um, 30 sit ups, 20 kettlebell swings, 10 head cutters. Refresher on the head cutter, remember it starts in front of me. I'm gonna pull it, wrap my hands underneath the horns, squat it, press it right back to the ground. Pull it, squat it, press it. Then, I'm gonna set my clock for 12 minutes. This is 12 minutes of preferably weighted if you have the ability to do that. And I would not do this with weight in your hands. If you only have, um, if you don't have something to throw on your back or a weight vest, using a backpack with some books in it or whatever, it's fine. Um, but if you don't have anything like that and your only choice is to do it weighted hold, I would not do that. I would just go on weighted and move quicker. Um, 12 minutes of consistent box step ups every minute and a half complete five push-ups okay so you got to look at the clock each time you get back on the box to start your step ups go a minute and a half from that point if you're weighted keep the weight on you when you do the push-ups okay and rather than transition so if you don't believe you can do the push-ups weighted then what i would do is do this whole thing unweighted but move faster all right that's it that's our wednesday guys have a fantastic day we'll talk to you tomorrow